Hello, everyone. This is Latia for you coming today with another scripture from the Lord. We are in Acts chapter 2, verse 12, James chapter 3, verse 16, and Ruth chapter 4, verse 11. Let's go ahead and pray and we can get started. Dear Lord Jesus, we ask you to come into this teaching, help us to know better. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right, you guys, Acts chapter 2, verse 12. And all were amazed and perplexed, saying to one another, what does this mean? All right. And so this is at Pentecost when the Holy Spirit fell and the people were astonished. They were amazed. When miracles occur, you know, it, it really sparks curiosity and makes people wonder about God. And so God wants to use us in this hour to, to be his hands and his feet in this world, right? Everybody is, is able to be used. Everybody is able to reach out and help someone in need. Um, we need to be willing vessels um, for God. Let God be the one who's leading and guiding you and and the Holy Spirit leads you and guide you into all truth. Amen. All right. And so the se second scripture that the Lord gave me was James chapter three, verse 16, for where jealousy and selfish ambition exists, there will be disorder in every vile practice. So everyone's not going to be happy for you if you change or if you turn over a new leaf, if you start following after God, listening to his voice right? There's, there's going to be some stuff, right? Usually the devil gets busy during that time. So we need to be um, ambitious for God. Basically, we don't, we don't need to pay attention to that. We need to make sure that our motives and, and the things that we are doing for God um, are of a good heart and not be surprised when there might be a vile practice that's there because of someone who's jealous or ambitious and, and just does not want to see good to come to the people of God. The enemy is not happy about things like like that so be used by God but don't be surprised amen that everybody's not going to be on your side all right and so the third scripture that the Lord gave me was Ruth chapter 4 verse 11 then all the people who were at the gate and the elders said we are witnesses may the Lord make the woman who is coming into your house like Rachel and Leah, who brought, who together built up the house of Israel. May you act worthily in Ephrathath and be renowned in Bethlehem. All right. And so this is speaking on Ruth a blessing, right? The people were witnesses. You are surrounded by a cloud of witnesses. You are surrounded by angels. You are surrounded by Holy Spirit and Jesus, right? They are blessing you. You are a wise bride when you go out and win souls, when you go out and lay hands on people, when you go out and tell people about Christ, right? You are a wise bride. Everybody's not going to be happy about it. But God is blessing you. He's speaking blessings over you. He's singing over you. He's touching you. He's ministering to you as you minister to others. Know that God is with you. If you are doing his will and his work, he is backing and pushing you along. So, so don't turn away from it. Don't be go back to being an unwise bride, right? God is going to give you great revelations, great understanding, and he's going to bless your house. Amen. The enemy might not be happy, but God is going to be happy. And he who is, he's the one who matters. Amen. All right, you guys, let's pray. Thank you, Father God, for this word. Thank you for showing us that we have great purpose in you that we can do things for the kingdom and not be afraid, not be ashamed, Lord. We ask you to forgive us for our sins and help us to be cleansed from all unrighteousness, God. Create in us a clean heart, O oh God, and renew a right spirit within us. Show us what you would have us do in these hours. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. All right, you guys. Um. If there's anybody out there who would like to receive Jesus as their Savior and Lord, go ahead and pray this prayer with me. But more than anything, believe it with all your heart as you confess it with your mouth. Dear Lord Jesus, I ask you to come into my heart. 
I make you my Lord and Savior. Jesus, I believe you died on the cross and I believe you rose again on the third day so that I could be saved. Thank you, Father God, for doing this for me. In Jesus name I pray. Amen. All right, you guys, um, if you have prayed that prayer and you believe that prayer, then the Holy Spirit has come into you and sealed you until the day of redemption. And no one can break that seal except Christ Jesus when he comes to redeem his church. The Holy Spirit is in you to lead you and guide you into all truth, meaning he's going to show you the way and he's going to bless your path. One of the best ways to learn the voice of the Holy Spirit is to sit down, read your word, chew on your word and talk to him. He is a rewarder of those who diligently seek him. So begin to seek his face today while he may be found. Also, um, one of the things that Christ wanted us to do and not forsake is the fellowshipping of ourselves one to another. Go out, find a church home, find other believers to be around so that you can stay sharp in the word of God, as well as go out and tell other people about Christ and what he's done for you in your life. Holy Spirit is going to lead you and guide you in those things. Also, don't forget to be baptized in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus. Amen. All right, you guys, may the Lord bless you and keep you. May he make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you and give you, his children, his peace. Take care.